What's going on guys? The day we've been waiting for is finally here. We have our first look at NHL 21 with the reveal trailer that came out today. So what we do right now actually is just watch the trailer all the way through. And then once we get through done that, we're going to kind of break it down a bit for you guys. Try and find some things you might not have noticed. So let's get started. Picture this. You're one of the greatest prospects to ever come from your country. Ovechkin. Picture being thrust into a foreign culture. Washington Capitals are pleased to select Alexander Ovechkin. And can barely speak the language. But you do speak one language that everyone understands. Picture yourself celebrating every goal like it's your first. Or maybe you're like gonna be a last. You make a big splash, because it's who you are. And that puts a big target on your back. But you don't shy away from the spotlight. No celebration when you score goal. You long for it. You command it. You make the impossible look easy. That one best was ever. Picture yourself inspiring the next generation. I was at that game. That memory has just kind of engraved in my mind. Probably the greatest people that I've ever seen. Picture rewriting the blueprint on creativity, on passion, on a way to play. Obi's inspired so many players to be like him. The passion, the way he plays the game. And the critics who pointed at the one thing you couldn't do. Picture silence enough. And now, all the doubters, they can't picture the league without you. And your rivals. Who do you going to win the heart? You. And the next generation, they recognize how much you mean to the game of hockey and how much you love it. So, as you picture your path to greatness, How's it too? what does it look like? Yeah, bro. Great eight edition. All right, so there you have it, guys. The NHL 21 reveal trailer. I thought that looked pretty sick. Uh, Ovechkin is the cover athlete. In case you didn't get that from the trailer, I think it was like 75% Ovechkin. Definitely interesting choice. Uh, Ovechkin was actually the cover athlete back in NHL 07. I think after his rookie season, after he scored that goal that was one of the best goals ever seen in hockey. Um, kind of interested to see that you know they went back with another player. They did that before with Taze. A lot sooner though with Taze. I think it was like 11 then 16. This one's 14 years later. Um, I think it would be kind of cool maybe if they waited till he broke Gretzky's goal record. But in case he never did that, maybe they wanted to get Ovi back on a cover. I thought for sure it was going to be one of the young stars. McKinnon, Pashnak, maybe Saddle. So I uh, definitely didn't expect this. Uh, so we'll just go through here slowly. Kind of pick out some of things for you guys you might not have noticed. Obviously a lot of real world footage is really not you know going to play much of an effect in this game. They're basically just pumping up Ovi um, as the cover boy this year. So I'm going to play this at half speed. So I'm trying to remember if this is a new move. Or no, he just does the Datsuk uh, pullback. I think it's this D great hero Vetchkin does. He like flips it up right there over that guy's stick and then skates around him. So I think that's like part of the new skating, like how you get around guys. Like that was nasty, I thought. Um, right there, just picks the top corner. Uh, you have like this kind of windmill celly. Looks like a new celly there, kind of like, unless I'm just forgetting. Right there too, that's some new board play. So uh, basically skating up the side of the ice there, you can actually Flick at the puck to yourself off the board, skate around the defender. I think there's going to be a lot more ways to kind of enter the zone now. Um, hopefully some more ways to kind of penetrate uh, the trap that everyone loves to run. I'm skipping through a bunch of the real life footage. I feel like this trailer is at least half real life, maybe even more like 75%. A big hit there on Headman. The hitting physics there look to be more or less the same um, as NHL 20. Now that's Selly there. Uh, goes from real life to the game. I believe that's a new Selly. Again, there's so many Sellys, maybe I'm forgetting it, but I don't think so. I think that's a new one. Obviously that goal, if they would have went in game and had somebody pulling that off, it's kind of like what you can sort of do when you dive out with the Gretzky, but on your back, that been nasty. Unfortunately though, it did not happen. Uh, then you have Matthews, of course, in the stand, just sniping one. We have been doing a Sully here, which might be new. Again, there's so many Sully, it's hard to remember like all the ones that are actually in the game already. You then have a quick look at Eichel here. I think that's a Sully we've already seen. Here you can see McDavid hit the puck four to himself just as he squeezes by Hannafin. He's going in for the hip check there. You can see he's like on his outside edges. Like, just looks so nice as he squeaks by. And the next clip's pretty nasty. You got Kucherov doing the Kucherov deke, which obviously is a deke without a shot. See right there, you can see him deke and just lets it go five. Well, I think that's on Hutton there. Uh, another angle, I think that's pretty nasty. Uh, being able to pull that off in game. A little between the legs shot there. Uh, Matthew Kuchuk, obviously, that's already in the game. But this celebration for Naren is not. I love that they added his new celebration in. The high kick to the knee. And then Svechnikov pulling off the Michigan. This is going to have some controversy, obviously. Um, is it going to be overpowered? Is it going to be too hard to pull off? 
Um, obviously, I'm glad it's in the game. I think that's just so sick. I remember being back in like the NHL 3-on-3 arcade game you could do it. It was always cool to pull off. So um, having it in the game, I think, as an option is awesome. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right now, it is not too easy to pull off. I've actually um, had some hands-on experience with this game, like a bit of an early build, like an alpha or whatever. And it's actually really hard to pull off. And that's in like a free skate, just getting like all the motions down, doing it perfectly to actually pick the puck up, not lose it on the pickup, and then put it top corner before the goalie gets over. So it's tough to pull off standing by yourself behind a net. If you're actually playing against somebody who's even a competent player that can play a bit of defense, when they see you going for that pickup, I feel like if there's a guy even like right next to the post, they'll probably be able to get over there and hit you in time before you're able to pull that off. Or even you can switch to human goalie and move his goalie over to the side to cover that post. I don't think see it being very easy to score. I feel like it's definitely a goal you do against somebody who you're already beating up on like 8-0. Uh, kind of like, you know, a bunch of deeks already, like uh, the Datsu flip and between the legs shot, like stuff like that where you're just dominating a guy, you're going to try and pull that off. Um, obviously, you can do the Datsu flip behind the net. I've done it a couple times. Um, I think this is going to be just as hard, if not harder, to pull off. So I think it's definitely hard enough to pull off, if not maybe even a little bit too hard. Um, after that, just some more real-life footage. Again, a lot of real-life footage in this trailer. Just like the NHL 20 reveal trailer with Matthews. Uh, you got some Obi Crosby stuff. Speaking of Matthews, who do we got there for the young guys? Was it Eichel, McKinnon, Matthews, Pasternak, Dreisaitl? I think that's probably Panarin. I feel like Panarin's a bit older than them, but uh, more real-life stuff. Again, just kind of showing Obi's career. Now, right here, we actually have our first look at the new Bia Pro. This is pretty awesome. All the sticks there. Um, out in the hallway outside the locker room, you got the couple Gatorade vending machines. And I feel like this is the most we've ever seen of a locker room, honestly. So, uh, pretty cool to see that. I know there's a bit more of it later. This is very, very cool as well. So, another, uh, I don't know if you call it a deke or just another gameplay addition. You can actually bank the puck off the back of the net to yourself as you spin around. I'm not sure who this Williams guy is pulling this off. It must be like a created player, but I'll uh, use the Penguins here as Crosby actually did that in a game. Not sure why they didn't use Crosby. So, um, it's pretty nasty, honestly. Like, you could get a guy to follow you behind the net. Maybe he thinks you're going to go for the Svechnikov, overcommits on one side, then you just throw it back to yourself, off the back of the net, spin around, uh, go to the other side. Definitely just a bunch of more um, creative options, I think, for offense. And like I was saying, speaking of that new Be A Pro story mode, we got that look outside the locker, right here's a look inside the locker, Washington Capitals, you got the jersey, the towels, everything else, uh, right there's your player. Pretty cool to see for sure. Um, obviously too, in case you like you didn't know, uh, you can be any team you want right there, it just flashes through it all. So uh, the new Be A Pro story mode, I've had some hands-on experience with it. I think it's really cool as well. I'm not really sure how much I'm allowed to say. I'm gonna have a whole video breaking down the whole feature list once I know for sure what I can and can't say um, out a little bit later, either tonight or tomorrow. But I think that's pretty much it from the reveal trailer. Again, I think there's a lot of awesome stuff to be excited for there. The two big things I'm most excited for, for sure, though, are the Be A Pro story mode, as well as all the new Deeks, mainly the Michigan, but also just like all those board Deeks, behind the net Deeks. I think it's gonna be a much needed update to the gameplay to actually make it feel a little bit different this year with kind of how you score your goals and how you create offense. So uh, can't wait for you guys to get your hands on that. I think I actually saw August 28th is like the closed beta or whatever. You can't make any videos or streams on it, but if you guys signed up, August 28th when you, is when you can actually expect to get your first hands-on with the game. I think it's only online versus and with a chill, but uh, still should be a ton of fun. So, like I said, guys, going to have a full feature list video out pretty soon. Stay tuned for that. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, leave that thumbs up. Leave a thumbs up, too, to say for NHL 21. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.